He said don't. Hello everyone, my name is John Cassidy, and today we are touring the Williamson Memorial Hospital, also known as the Hospital on College Hill. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy this video, and be sure to stick around to the end to catch the intense paranormal investigation. The hospital was named after Wallace J. Williamson, founder of the city of Williamson and was established in 1918. A nursing school was established on Mulberry Street on a hilltop site overlooking the city in 1920 next to it. The hospital's founding doctors are on the walls here. George Thomas Connolly, and Russell Arthur Salton. On January 12, 1927, a massive fire gutted the original Williamson Memorial Hospital. Miraculously, all 33 patients escaped with their lives. 14 of the patients were transferred to hospitals in the Huntington area, while others were taken to their homes. In one of the stories from the fire, Miss Leonard Chafin on the third floor of the hospital grabbed her recently birthed infant and threw it out the window in order to save its life. Raymond Edwards, standing in the street below, anticipated her intentions and held out his arms and caught the baby. Dr. George Conley, one of the owners of the hospital that we seen on the wall earlier, and several of the nurses who were trapped on the third floor, escaped by leaping onto a pile of mattresses. The new Williamson Memorial Hospital that we are currently walking through opened on a small hill overlooking the city on March 3, 1928. Costing $175,000 to construct, the new fireproof four-story facility boasted 72 beds, 32 private patient rooms, and seven wards to provide segregation between African-American and white patients. In 1979, the hospital was sold to Hospital Management Associates and a new medical center was completed in 1988, while the 1928 hospital building was repurposed as a medical center and clinic complex, and since 2014 has been used as storage. So here is the really neat old elevator of the building and it still works, which is really cool. We are now heading on to the second floor of the hospital. The second floor contained a maternity ward which included a delivery room, a nursery, and two private rooms for the mothers.
Yep. So now we are heading up the stairs to the third floor of the hospital. One of the ghosts that haunts this hospital was a former patient, and he had jumped out this window and survived, then passed away in the room next to it. The third floor was also said to have had medical and surgical rooms.
So now we are walking out onto the fourth floor of the hospital. The fourth floor contained the pharmacy for most of the time, in this room here. This room also had a very dark feeling from the former pharmacists and nurses, possibly. The fourth floor also included two operating rooms oriented to the northern exposures. This is one of the operating rooms and it also had a viewing window for if the families or other doctors wanted to watch the operation. So now we are going to head down to the basement. In the later years, the basement hosted the emergency room, radiology department, laboratories, and the cafeteria, while the first floor was home to the ICU.
Coming up here on the left is the former cafeteria. It was also said at one time that the morgue was located down here, somewhere. And in this room is the incinerator where I believe they would burn the bodies. In this room here is where they would do severe things like amputations and operations. Investigating, so I'm going to show you all the equipment I have. I have a K2 meter, a EVP recorder, a spirit box, and a pendulum so that we can talk to the different spirits and see what we catch here. All right, well, first, guys, we're going to go ahead and see if we can get any EVP recordings with this EVP recorder. So um, let's try that out. Are there any spirits here that wish to communicate with us? I thought I heard something too. Okay. Well, let's play that back and see if we got anything. All right, well, we're going to play this back, see if we caught anything. I heard something I there. Something I did hear something there. And that wasn't either of us because we didn't hear that. We were both here. We're going to replay it one more time, guys, because we think we heard Are something. There any spirits here that wish to communicate with us? Right there at six seconds. Yeah. I almost said like it said like yeah or something, and then at nine seconds too. Yeah. Wow. We're gonna test one more time because we think we caught something on that first EVP, so we're gonna try again and see if we catch anything else with this. Testing, testing, one, two, three. If there are any spirits here, please talk into this box here because we'll be able to hear you. Let's play that back. Testing, testing, one, two, three. If there are any spirits here, please talk into this box here because we'll be able to hear you. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. It's like it got like real staticky at the end. All right, guys, well, now we got the spirit box here, so we're gonna use this and ask questions, see if we can get any responses with this.
Are there any spirits here that wish to communicate? Can you tell us your name? Can you make some kind of noise for us? I heard a scream. Yep. Was that somebody here from this hospital screaming? It said oh. don't. Did yes. you hear that? Don't something. It said don't. Something, yeah. Right, that was kind of spooky. Do you want to say anything else? Okay, we definitely caught some stuff there. I'll have to review that later on. All right, now we're going to ask a few questions using the pendulum, so we'll see if we catch anything that way. So, this is yes, and this is no. So, are there any spirits here that wish to communicate with us? Well, I like, feel like it was pulling on it almost. Mm -hmm. So, it's definitely a yes there. Stop. And see, it slows down by itself. Mm hmm. Are you a former patient of the hospital that I'm communicating with right now? It's saying no. Hmm. That's, That's a pretty clear no, guys. Stop. So it wasn't a former patient. Are you a former doctor of the hospital? Oh, it's saying yes. Hmm. Yeah, that's clear. Yeah, that's a clear yes, too. It's like, you can feel it pulling on here, guys. So one of the former doctors haunts this hospital. Wow. All right, well, we definitely caught some good stuff, and that's going to conclude the paranormal investigation. Well, thank you all for watching my documentary tour and paranormal investigation of the old hospital on College Hill. Please leave a like, share, subscribe, comment, and I'll catch you all in the next video.